Hello friends. Well I have some tutorial for you, some lovely music and my studio news. But first off I'm working with Artist Soft Pastels and I'm working with Sonalia and Schminky, our lovely soft pastels that are very easy to apply. If you can paint with a paintbrush you can paint with pastels. You can see that I've blocked in my main shadow patterns first and I've used a mid-tone for the paper which makes it faster to create your initial block in you are just putting down the major darks and the major lights and you may notice that my dark tones are cool optically cool they usually have blue or blue greens or blue violets in them and my lighter tones are generally optically warmer tones they tend to have anything in the yellow orange red spectrum in them and that's because that helps create the illusion of a good contrast of light and shade. For my journal lovers, yes I'm still currently journaling but my journaling mainly comprises of writing and when I focus on the writing side of the journaling I tend to keep those journals fairly private I've mastered handwriting to the stage where I can read it the day after I wrote it, which is a big improvement to where I was a few years back. But it's no masterpiece, not something I would do specifically for YouTube. There are many people who do wonderful handwriting videos on YouTube. I'm not one of them. I'd rather show you this, my tonal impressionist flower painting work now that I've had a lot of experience at and uh, I love it <laughs> and I'm doing a lot of writing these days and that's why there are not so many long-form videos on my YouTube channel and why I haven't had time to do art journaling to show you this month I've been writing novels again and non-fiction work and short stories and because I do such a diversity of work I've been doing it under various pen names I rewrote a book that I put out on how to write a young adult novel and I brought it up to date with the use of AI on technology now there's a lot of misunderstanding about AI um, some authors can get very uptight and uh, it's a very idea that some people might be using artificial intelligence to help them use write a novel but honestly uh, almost every program they are already using is AI the um, grammar checkers they're artificial intelligence you don't have a human sitting there when you put something into a grammar checker um, telling you what's incorrect it's done by artificial intelligence AI so this tool is being used widely now so I'm just researching it and putting this into this book that I'm publishing to bring young authors up to date on some of the new aids that they can use to help them create a very polished piece of work. I'm not suggesting that they should use it to write their book for them but to help them write a better book. These tools to help you write better are available for anybody in any industry. Uh, nurses can use it to help write their notes, give them more time to actually do patient care. Uh, bloggers are using it and of course YouTubers are using it. it. helps you write your description. You can basically chat into the text box saying what you want the AI to write and it will phrase it well for you. You need to check it, of course, but it can save you a lot of time. And if you're a painter and you'd rather be spending your time painting rather than going through structure editing of dialogue that you want to explain what you're doing, then these tools can be a huge benefit. So while I've been away from doing long form videos here on YouTube, I've been coaching uh, in person, face to face, uh, helping people in the um, nursing industry learn how to use artificial intelligence writing aids and editing aids to assist them in their work so that they're able to spend more time on their job and less time doing the paperwork. 
I always do find myself engaged in some form of voluntary tutorial. I just love teaching. You can check out my website if you're interested in this subject. I've done blogs there on the use of AI tools as an assistant for writing and editing. I'm not using any AI tools at all assisting me for art because there's still a big issue of plagiarism with those tools. Um, artists are finding that their work is being ripped off. AI is tending to take bits and pieces of various artists' work that are online, not necessarily free domain, and combining them to create new artworks. But those artworks are created with the use of other artists' works without their permission. So I hesitate to recommend AI for artwork. In the same way that I don't suggest you use AI to do your writing for you, but use it as an aid to improve your writing, check your writing, and make sure there are no errors before you publish. Now I'll chat a bit about how this painting is progressing. I tend to work with one colour at a time. While that paint colour is in my hand, I will use it everywhere in the painting where I see it belongs. I work all over the painting at once. I'm looking at the subject that I'm painting usually. I rarely work from an image and visualising the whole painting. That's not the only way that you can work. That's not even the correct way that you can work. It's just the correct way if you're trained to do tonal impressionism as I've been trained. So I work from, a, from the darkest dark through to the lightest light if I'm working on light coloured paper. Because I would look at my paper and say what is the greatest difference between the subject that I'm going to paint and this paper support that I've got. And the greatest difference would be that what I'm looking at is a contrast of light and shade going from the darkest dark to the lightest light. My paper was mid-tone. So I started in with the darkest darks and established them. Then I came out and established my lightest lights and then I was able to build back from the darkest dark through to the middle dark medium tones, middle lights through to the lights and that's how I progressed through the painting and by having a plan the whole subject becomes easier. I'm not sort of thinking now this is the a petal or if I was doing a portrait this is a nose. I'm just thinking it's a pattern of light and shade and I've simplified it and I started with a colour harmony trying not to use too many colours in the painting which is a fault that I could get into very easily if I don't pre-plan it because with my love of colour I could end up with a colour mismatch so I've chosen to use the red violets through to blue violets uh, maybe hinting towards the blue but it's predominantly blue violet to red violets and I crossed harmony that with uh, the yellow and so that was my plan that I made before I started. I've minimised the green in this painting. The green will tend towards the yellow or it will tend back towards the blue violet. So there is a lot of green foliage in it and that's helped me maintain that uh, cross harmony split opposite colour harmony. And for those who are interested that too is how I write a book. I have a plan and I stick to that plan. I'll put a link to my book, How to Write a Young Adult Novel by Grey Nomad in the description and it's I've kept the price very low, 99 cents is what I've marked it at, so I just want to make it affordable to everybody. By choosing young adult, you could adapt that out to any genre, from mystery through to romance, whatever, and there is absolutely no reason why you could not change the age dynamic that you're writing for. I'm enjoying writing for an older age dynamic. Love, adventure and art is not just for the young.